mic. All I need is one mic. One mic. This is Outspoken 9. We are three of the four members who are going to Boston for representing the tonight. I'm going to share the stage and just kind of lean up more towards the group pieces that uh, need to be polished. Bean is taking our youth to Chicago um, to Wednesday. Representing Houston in an international competition, they're going up against Denver, uh, Cape Town, South Africa, Leeds, uh, Albuquerque, San Francisco. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be an amazing Stockton, California. It's going to be amazing. Uh, so I was walking into a clothing movie gallery to be introduced to a bare white chest tattooed with the 13th Slipknot noose and the Confederate flag branded on the back of his neck. This situation couldn't turn out to be made good, so I went back into the store, exchanged my porn for one episode of Roots and Rosewood. And I can't judge him, so I pray that somewhere between the lynch rope and eight, his life will see change. Like when Paul saw it, his neck got redder. Nigga, I think you better learn your place. I thought the past beyond the past. To the things that I have, to the things my ancestors never had, and to think. His grandfather might have hung my great-grandfather's dad. See, a part of his tradition was a mission to get rid of my existence and limit my comprehension. But what if he had good intentions? Later, Later. after bumping heads with the creator and changing his behavior, then would things be so major? What if he asked for forgiveness from the Savior, but this blatant display of Southern pride inviting years of hate is causing me to hold back tears while I grow irate? So many, I feel like the Hoover Dam's about to break. I, I saw, saw Satan in his face, and by the was heaven's angels crying for his sin. Jesus lives even in the KKK. But, but our tears are our peoples. Hated and not regarded as equals. Initially, I remain mute for I'm consumed with rage. For here stands a pontiff of persecution, the soul of Silas, deliverer of execution. For our past, I seek retribution. Now that brings us to forgiveness. What's the difference between blacks killing niggas? Nothing. Nothing. The black mafia did it. So we all could be killers and we all have to repent. But should I hold my tongue no matter how relentless? Should I respect his opinion even if my ancestors are offended? I asked him. Then he turned and answered. Removing this tattoo off my chest is like having external breast cancer. This was foolishly done 20 years ago. So tell me, how old are you, son? I mean, I'm 21 years old. If Saul can turn to Paul, then that brings us to hope. My preference was weed and his was coke and we both had a dime bag. That same noose tatted on his chest would be the one he would have to hold on to as the others over hell while we're busy hating each other. We're only cursing ourselves. Realizing the blood from the lynching runs deeper than the Nile, forgive him for what he was taught as a child that he says to me. What about this image poison in my neck? How would you feel if you were living under my hex? My mind has changed with my body's a stretch, so let's work to a solution. No violent evolution. Fear is a mind killer, but love is a true healer. And the alcoholic's thirst is a Bruce Steeler. His Jägermeister is to my steel reserve to 11. And right when I was about to hand him Rosewood, simultaneously, he handed me Crash. And we watched them together, but separate. And there lies <laughs> The interstate geography of Houston is designed by a system of loops. Starting outward, in. First you have the largest beltway in the U.S., Grand Parkway. Then the middle loop, Beltway 8, to the smallest loop, 16, with downtown in the center. The bullseye of our vast metropolitan. When I think about Houston and its interstates, I think of the dark game, cricket. The police of Houston must be masters at playing cricket on their dartboard paths. They aim in between the lines where casualties tend to have been targeted in our neighborhoods for points. Where a downtown center isn't even a factor. Maybe this explains the target of a minority boys. Sitting ducks, labeled by the homestead wards and dead ends they reside in. But well, we're from Texas, where space is bountiful. Landscape is beautiful because it just is. But Structuring could be so intentional that it morphs to coincidence and is accepted by the status quo. And in our targeted hoods, where the sharpest minds can thrive beyond their circumstance, they expect coincidence to come at HPD darts a dozen casualties happen like scoring. 15 points for racial profile. 20 points for snub pictures fitting the description. A double to get them to smile on Dash 
dashboard camera. I triple because brown boys love to taste the pavement just before it's feed it to them. To know my city, you have to know its infrastructure. That there's a stark difference between west and east of any given street. West of the West Timer means the mansions of the gallery. East of West Timer means the swap meets of Harlem Drive. Where do you think the darts and blue find their marks in cricket? You have to hit the sweet spot to win the game. In Houston, we are losing our boys by this game. One of my students told me if you have nappy hair, they call you trigger head. Our boys are in the middle of hair triggers, waiting to be split like peace symbols growing up. It was ingrained in us that the police were not our friends. Show your hands. Don't make any sudden movement. There are bullseyes tattooed to our skin. So when I go to Acres Home, Sunnyside, Fifth Ward, Third Ward, Second Ward, City Gas, A I rarely meet future kingpins who I do meet are scared princes holding the memories of their friends cracked crown. In my neighborhood, Pleasantville isn't a movie about black and white turning into color. It's, it's black, black and the browns white. turning into crimson. It's white, this shit keep happening. It's, it's worse than we know the answer. It's, I've been to more funerals than graduations. We are living targets inside of a target board. We're Houston's fighters are playing cricket with our lives. Our tomorrow's youth are not forgotten. They couldn't help to be born just south of Bellway 8. 15 points. A northeast of 16. 18 points. They never asked to be where HPD darts have frequent flyer miles. We are living strips, been to dartboards, we know not to test the police, we know not to test the police.